This video is for you who are entering the world of Macs from PCs and find the use of external drives a bit confusing. It's only a short video, but I know that I would appreciate if someone would have cleared this up for me when I was switching from PC to Mac. I'll try to keep this simple as there are many file systems and variants thereof. What most users use today are these file systems, NTFS, XFAT and APFS. I'll also mention the FAT file system, which is often used on USB memory sticks. It was a popular system, which can be used more or less regardless of operating system, as it's a very simple system. One downside is that it can only store files less than 4 GB, and therefore we don't use external drives with FAT. NTFS is short for New Technology File System, but there's nothing very new about it. It was introduced in 1993, that was over 30 years ago, but it's still the dominating file system on Windows machines. It's a more efficient and secure system than FAT. It can store larger files and allows for some compression. A replacement for NTFS was introduced with Windows Server in 2012, REFS, Resilient File System, to combat data protection issues, among other things. But NTFS is still what's being used in the Windows world, even if there's support for the more modern REFS. Almost all external hard drives that you buy today are NTFS drives. Newer Macs can read NTFS, but they cannot write to it, which confused me a bit at first, before I understood this. Why? Legal, licensing agreements between Microsoft and Apple, I guess. XFAT, Extended File Allocation Table, was introduced in 2006 to meet the demands of compatibility. XFAT can be used on both PCs and Macs. XFAT is based on the FAT system that we talked about earlier, but doesn't have the size restrictions. XFAT doesn't have the security and compression features as NTFS though. It's still a simple file system. For Mac users, APFS is now dominant on external drives. It stands for Apple File System. It's secure and fast, but it only works on Macs. There are several variants of APFS, but just use the first one if you don't have any specific requirements. So for me, and you probably, all of this means that I've still got lots of old NTFS drives that can be read by Macs and I can copy files to my Mac. But if I need to write anything to them, I need to use a PC. That's all fine, I'll leave it like this, since formatting them to a different file system means that I have to remove the data first. Formatting means that all data will be erased. I formatted one of my external hard drives, and probably all my future hard drives, to XFAT. Here is where I will archive all of my future projects. XFAT can be used on both PCs and Macs, and I want to be able to switch to PC in the future if PCs suddenly become better than Macs for video editing. I also have an external SSD that I use with my current projects. This is the drive I'm editing from, and the files on it are only there for a few months before archiving it or deleting it. So here is where I use APFS, since that's what works best on my Mac in terms of security and speed. A thumbs up maybe?